Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to Yield Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup. Um, yeah, that's right. It's Saturday once again, and um, it's time to talk about all of the home fragrance that I used around the house over the course of the past week. I do all of this alongside my trusty assistant, Alf, who, if you're new here, let me introduce you to Alf. This is Alf. Um, he is, in fact, a dog. <laughs> But he is my constant companion and um, my best my best bud and uh, also finger chewer <laughs> extraordinaire. Um, Alf just is around me like 24 seven. So uh, whenever I'm sitting anywhere, he is immediately either right next to me or in my lap and he's cute. So I let him do it. Uh, but that does mean that you're probably gonna hear some noises in the background of this video especially if you maybe have some earbuds in. So the snoring, the, s the snorting, the sighs, you know, all of that fun stuff. Um, that is courtesy of uh, ALF. And as I always like to say, please enjoy that free pug ASMR. So I have a lot to talk about this week. I went through several candles in terms of like finishing them up. I didn't put them in my empties. Um, if you missed it, my home fragrance empties went up on Thursday of this week. So I will link that in the description box down below. But I wanted to hold some of these back to do a little bit more like in-depth chit chat about them since I recently reviewed a bunch of these candles. Um, I have the candles that I was burning this week, uh, the wax melts. There wasn't a ton in terms of wax melts. I was a little bit lazy about using my Scentsy warmers again. So I'm, I'm going to start getting into that a little bit more aggressively again next week. This was spring break, so the week was a little funky for me. We were kind of in and out most of the time, um, just doing a few things here and there. And um, yeah, I'm always discombobulated during my... Um, I've one child, but... <laughs> I can barely manage one kid. <laughs> I always get super discombobulated whenever Stella's out of school. Like, I don't know what it is. It just completely messes me up. Um, not that she's like, I'm not saying my kid is an inconvenience, but you know, there's just, uh, I'm not used to like having her, you know, ask me about food stuff all day. <laughs> Cause normally she's at school, which is great. You know, like they take care of her nutritional needs there. I pay for her to have a nice little, uh, you know, lunch plan. So anyway. Um, other than that, uh, it's been a good week in terms of home fragrance. So as always, check out the description box. It is a plethora of information. If you're wondering how to utilize a candle crock or a candle lamp, because you will be seeing, well, at least crocks in this video, and maybe you've never had a candle crock yourself or you've never, you know, considered a candle lamp, um, check out my candle crock and candle lamp 101 video in the description box. Um, there are links to where to buy all of the stuff that I'm showing here. There's discount codes. I have an affiliate discount code with both Kringle and Homeworks. So save yourself a little bit of money if you're looking to order from either. It you, Both of those usually work with most sales. So, um, there's information about candle sales that are happening over the weekend from the candle companies that I tend to favor. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's quite a bit of information down there. So feel free to check that out. And um, without further ado, the first thing I'm gonna do is take you on a little tour of what is currently in all of my candle crocks. I'm not using any lamps this week. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the crocks. And then when we come back, we're going to get into some candles that I finished, what I was burning, and then the few wax melts that I have to share from this past week. So, all right, buddy, we are we are chewing on fingers right now, so that's fun. Anyway, let's let's go take a little. All right, here in the formal living room, you probably saw this uh, burning behind me throughout the video, is Bath and Body Works Tiki Beach. Um, surprisingly enough, this is actually my first year experiencing Tiki Beach from Bath and Body Works. I know that it has been out for multiple years, but I just have never thought to pick it up. But, uh, yeah, what I I've been missing out. <laughs> Why did no one tell me? I'm sure most of you were like, you should totally try Tiki Beach. And I was always like, oh yeah, yeah, I should put that in my cart. I never did. But yeah, I should have been putting it in my cart for many, many years now. This is an amazing summertime scent. Not that it's summertime right now, but I've really been enjoying it. So if you have avoided Tiki Beach for whatever reason, um, you shouldn't. This is, this is a fantastic scent, especially if you're looking for something beachy and kind of tropical. Definitely give this one the old college try. All right, friends, here in the dining room, I am currently burning uh, Kringle Fairies Floss. 
This was a part of the Kringle Fantasy Collection. These candles, well, I don't think Mermaid Scales is available anymore, but I think you can still get the Unicorn Poop, and I, I think you can still get the Fairy's Floss. Don't quote me on that. Check the website. But um, honestly, Unicorn Poop and Fairy's Floss, I think, were the standouts for me personally from that particular collection. But the Mermaid Scales was equally as lovely. Um, but this one here is just, it's a very pretty feminine, like sweet, perfumey, girly scent. Um, I love the label and I just, it smells so good in here right now. Um, I need to open up my windows in the dining room. Um, we actually have a pretty decent weather day and I think this combined with some fresh air is going to be a really, really great combination. So anyway, if you want this one, you should still be able to find it on the Crinkle website. All right, this is the croc that lives in my laundry room. Um, I get a lot of questions about this candle croc still. I wish I could link it, but it is long discontinued, guys. Um, I bought this, I think, a couple of years before we moved out of our last house. And we have now been in this house here for, is it five or six years? I think our anniversary actually is next week of moving in. We moved in April 8th of, was it 2018? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. <laughs> this is so bad. Or was it 2017? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, moral of the story is you can't find this. So um, the Crocs that I have linked down below, however, are from the same um, brand. So candle warmers. They are really well-made Crocs. Um, I was trying to remember the year because I just want to stress how long I've had this and how long I've been using it. And it is still kicking all these years later is the moral of the story. This has got to be at least eight or nine years old. Um, and I use it darn near daily, so it's great quality. But anyway, in here I have the Country Candle Strawberry Lemonade. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I could have burned it, you know, completely, but I figured I'd get a little bit more life out of it by putting it into a candle crock. So it's been going 24 seven now for well over a week and it still is producing a lot of great, really great scent for me in the back part of the house here. So I'm going to let it keep going. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this is a great strawberry lemonade scent. And if you're at all interested and you're a little nervous about getting started with Kringle candle, get the wax melts or get the daylights but do check this scent out. I think it's really delicious for the summertime. Welcome to uh, my master bedroom. <laughs> so this is the croc that I have up here. This is actually one of the crocs that I have linked down below. This is the ivory option. As you can see, it just has like a little scroll work design on it. It's still quite neutral. So in here <laughs> went the country candle uh, lemon tea and roses. Is it lemon tea and roses? Lemon tea and roses, yes, correct. Um, this one, there's something wrong with the wicks. Um, all of the other country candles that I've burned so far from the spring summer release have been burning quite well. But this one here, for whatever reason, the wicks just dudded out. So um, I burned it to the halfway point. I love the scent. I love the scent. It is so soothing, so beautiful but it just doesn't perform very well with the wick issues in terms of strength and throw. But in the croc, it is a powerhouse. So if you bought one and you are looking to figure out a way to get some life out of it, um, if yours is struggling, put it in a croc. Like this is, it smells so amazing in here. Um, but I do hope they fix whatever issue is going on here with the lemon tea and roses because um, I would actually repurchase this one. This one here was sent to me in PR, by the way. Um, so yeah, I've definitely passed my uh, my thoughts on to Kringle on this one, just because I really do want it to stick around, but something's not quite right with it. So I know that they're pretty good about reformulating things. So I'm pretty sure they have it on their list to adjust um, either the wicks or something with this one. So anyway but I do love it uh, here in my crock upstairs. Okay, so the last crock we're gonna take a look at today is in the back 
bedroom of the house. And this is obviously another one of those um, candle warmer medallion crocs. Uh, I, I did buy a couple of them. They're just so pretty, right? Like they, they totally need to make more of these. They would sell so well. But anyway, in here I have country candle sand and santal. Um, you can see I got to the halfway point with this one. I reviewed it and then decided that I wanted a, can um, a candle to be able to pop into this particular crock. I opted for that one and I'm so glad I did. I, the more that I smell this particular fragrance, the more it's growing on me. And I, I liked it at first. I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. You know, like it didn't really wow me until I started burning it regularly. And at that point it, like kind of started blowing my mind. I was like, this is so lovely. It is very beachy, very summery. There's a good dose of coconut in here. It's just so pleasant. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get more of the candles, but what I am going to load up on as soon as the next um, uh, wax melt sale comes around are the wax melts in this particular scent. This, I'm going to need more of that for this summer for sure. So anyway, really enjoying that sand and Santal back here. And I can tell that this is going to be at least two weeks with the, with this particular one. Um, the way that the, um, the strawberry lemonade has been going downstairs, it just kind of leads me to believe that this is at least a solid two weeks of, um, of these country candles that are kind of around the halfway point that I am opting to melt. So it's quite a bit of a uh, 24 seven fragrance output. And I'm just, I'm loving this in the back part of the house. And even Stella has said that smells really good. Stella's room is right next door. So um, yeah, she gets, uh, she gets a good whiff of this one um, pretty much all day long. So anyway, all right, you guys, let's get back into the rest of the video. All right, guys, now that we are done with that little tour, let's go ahead and talk about some candles that I finished over the course of this past week. These should have been in my empties for the month of March, but again, I wanted to spend just a little bit more time on each of these. Um, and the home fragrance empties can get kind of hectic because like usually there's a lot of stuff. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, I finished two of my holy grails and then I was able to repurchase them you guys I think they're still available Kringle finally they finally restocked sweet cream and sprinkled macarons now they did it like on like different days of the week which was kind of a bummer because I placed an order for sprinkled macarons as soon as that came back in stock and then I think it was the next day or the day after they released sweet cream and I was like ah da, of course <laughs> After I just paid shipping for this, I then had to pay shipping for this, but it's fine because I've been dying for these to come back into stock. Honestly, uh, I don't know what quantities were poured, so I don't know how many are left at this point, but if you want them, you can use my code MELANIE15 to save at least 15% on these. Um, Kringle Reserve candles rarely go on sale, so, um, but both of these are two of, I think my all time favorite Kringle candles, to be totally honest. The performance was just so good and the fragrances themselves are delicious. So Sweet Cream is, if I were to like kind of put it in its most basic explanation, it's like a strawberry whipped cream, but just incredibly well done and delicious. Um, this one, the wick clips extinguish the flames. So I didn't even want to blow it out. <laughs> like that's how sad I was that it was going away, but, uh, I'm so glad I was able to order backups. I just adore this. Uh, it, it, it I would say it's somewhat similar to strawberry pound cake, but like better and definitely a lot more like whipped cream than like that more like vanilla cake type note that you get with strawberry pound cake but if you like strawberry pound cake i bet you're gonna adore this so it is delicious i cannot say enough good things about it the sprinkled macarons same thing the wick clips <laughs> did their job at the at the end there and extinguished this one um so i think once kringle brings back jelly donut uh we will all have the trifecta of reserve goodness as far as like the gourmands go i feel like I think that Kringle should package sprinkled macarons, uh, sweet cream, and jelly donut in like a trio. I feel like that would fly off the shelves. 
I know that I would probably be very tempted to purchase multiple trios of that. So delicious. Uh, so yeah, if I were in marketing at Kringle, I would do that. <laughs> I bet people would be all over that. But anyway, glad that I have my backups coming to me. And if you are interested in finally trying either of these two, I would say now would be the time. I don't know when they'll be restocked again once these are sold out. Anyway, um, what else did I finish? Um, okay, I was really sad to finish this. This is another one of my like new holy grail scents, the um, sugared lychee martini. Now, luckily this one I did buy in a set of two from QVC. Um, I don't buy a lot of homeworks from QVC these days because as I just said, it's a set of two. And I'm trying really hard, real hard to whittle down, especially my homeworks candle collection. So I have to be careful um, with getting too many like multiples <laughs> from homeworks. I prefer to purchase from Dot Shop just because uh, I can get everything like in a single candle format. I'm not lucky enough to be able to find a lot of these Homeworks candles at my local Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Ross. One, I don't go out to those stores a lot, but also the ones that are in my area just don't tend to get a lot of these in. Um, I don't know what the distribution system is, but I, I don't think Oregon is. <laughs> like a hot spot to send a lot of these homeworks candles to but that being said this was so worth getting a set of two of this particular one i love lychee it's one of my favorite notes during the summer in terms of like fruity fragrances just the most delicious tropical goodness it just makes me happy but i just i love eating lychees in general so it's just it's such a great flavor but anyway um i have the other one that i think i'm gonna save probably for around june july and then i would actually re repurchase it as soon as i finish that second one so i hope it sticks around um i don't know if it's sold out at qvc already it could be or it could sell out next week and that'll be a bummer for me but also i will find other delicious candles to burn if this one never comes back again but i loved it and if it's still available i would say go get you some especially if you love um lychee it's and that was a great performer like from start to finish great performance but let's talk about a homeworks candle that did not do so great in performance but oh do i love the jar in fact i love it so much that i already cleaned it out so that i could reuse it so um i do this with a lot of my homeworks containers especially these like specialty glass ones i like to put q-tips in here i like to um you know like you can put paper clips pens makeup brushes whatever floats your boat i've seen some people put little fairy lights in these and then you know put the lid on and it makes a cute little like light display but um yeah i just uh, practical uses around the house for me so I even have one of these in the laundry room to put loose change in because Craig always puts change in his pockets. So usually when I'm emptying the dryer, I find, you know, several quarters, a couple dimes, stuff like that. And I put the change in here. And then once I fill it up, I put it into a bigger change receptacle. And then once a year, I go to the bank and run that through their little coin machine. But anyway, uh, moral of the story is that Oahu Passion, while such a great fragrance okay i feel like harry does really great tropical scents he is wonderful with tropical scents and this one was amazing passion fruit pineapple orange blossom and vanilla sugar smelled incredible such an amazing fragrance but so light you guys the strength and throw made it so light not non-existent but definitely too light for my personal preferences and so um i just i burned it it had a Bur great burn otherwise there was no problems with the wicks there was no sooting there was no discoloration it burned great in that respect but i could barely smell it and that's not okay for you know a candle of this price point now this one was actually sent to me as pr so i hate to give it a bad review because i love the fragrance so much but if harry would reformulate this to have a stronger fragrance output i would repurchase it in a heartbeat it is so delicious so hi penny how you doing i do have two pugs so penny is actually the noisier out of the two so if she sticks around you're in for some great snorts do you like her little tail right there she's so cute penny's a fawn <laughs> so she's she's our blondie she's a little blonde girl all right 
Another Homeworks candle that was a little bit disappointing. This one actually had a little bit more strength than the Oahu Passion, but not a whole lot more. So I actually used the Wildflower Meadow underneath my candle lamp and got a little bit more um, performance out of it that way. So um, with a candle lamp, you're warming from the top down, so you're pouring off the wax layer by layer. That's why this looks kind of funky. Um, but this is actually a really nice green scent. I'm not really into these grass type fragrances, but I actually like this one, which made me a little disappointed. I would repurchase this for the springtime next year if it was again reformulated. Um, wildflowers, apple blossoms, green pear, and clover grass. This is a great scent. Um, I really thought this was lovely. Very green, but also fresh and kind of sweet, like oddly sweet in a way, but like to where it just works. So anyway, a little bit of a womp womp there, but um, yeah, that's too bad. Anyway, let's talk about uh, some womp womps <laughs> from Kringle as well. This is Raspberry Jam. Uh, I reviewed this. Uh, listen, I love this again on cold sniff, but this one, it was fine in terms of strength and throw, but the problem was that there was some kind of interaction between the flame and the wax and the oils together, like that little trifecta, where it just created the most off-putting, rancid, awful scent. Like, it just was not good. It was kind of a little bit spicy in a way, but then also just wrong. It didn't smell like it smelled on cold sniff at all, and I loved it on cold sniff. But then I thought, I'm gonna burn it to, I didn't even get to quite the halfway point, and then I thought, I'm going to put it in, um, in a candle crock. I'm going to see if it performs better there in terms of the scent. And it did. It smelled a lot more like the original like cold sniff impression that I got um, than when I had it lit. And I don't know what, what went wrong. Like if maybe this like somehow got through testing or I, I have no idea. But... I don't think the intention was for raspberry jam to smell this way and um, I would like to see it reformulated and I'd like to see it brought back because as far as like a raspberry scent goes this was delicious on cold sniff <laughs> just don't light it up and it's great <laughs> or just pop it in a crock listen if you if you already bought it and you don't want to deal with like you know sending it back or whatever um, put it in a candle crock it You'll still get to enjoy the scent, like, I think, with what the original intention was, but it just is going to be better. So much better. All right. Um, the last candle that I reviewed from this fruity and fresh designer three-wick candle collection was the Strawberry Patch. That one finally went up this week. I like the Strawberry Patch, but I didn't love it. Honestly, I much prefer, in terms of strawberry fragrances, the Country Candle Strawberry Lemonade. That's new for spring, summer this year. I already reviewed it. I think it was one of the first candles that I reviewed. It's delicious, you guys. And um, if you're wanting a strawberry scent from Kringle, I would steer you towards that and probably away from this. This just has a lot of citrus in it. And it just, it doesn't really smell like a, like a, I don't know what I what I was hoping for was like a farm stand strawberry you know like how homeworks has farm stand strawberry it was just a sweet kind of more straightforward strawberry type scent that's not what this is so it's too bad but it's okay it is what it is and then the last one this is eucalyptus cotton this is new for spring summer this year from Kringle this one was sent to me in PR um, I purchased all of these like fruit collection ones so um, anyway this one here uh, this is not one that I would have picked up myself either, and I'm not going to repurchase it, but I did burn it, and actually, I, fin I, I finished it, so she's all done. Um, this has a really heavy dose of eucalyptus. I, I still don't really love eucalyptus. It just reminds me of work. Um, but this also has a really nice cotton laundry soapy note to it and that part I actually enjoyed um so if you're looking for something fresh something that would be a great fragrance for like when you're first doing your spring cleaning you're opening all your windows and you have fresh air coming in and you just want something really invigorating and refreshing to burn at the same time this would be the scent that I would say like this it's if this is what you're looking for, like a really fresh invigorating scent with eucalyptus and like a laundry detergent kind of vibe, 
you, I don't think you could do better than this. It's, it's quite potent too. <laughs> if you're looking for potency, <laughs> I think the eucalyptus is, is a little too potent for me, but um, I just, I have a sensitivity to it again, because it just reminds me of something that I don't want to be reminded of. But um, if you don't have beef with eucalyptus, you should give that the old college try. All right, let's talk about some other candles. First of all, uh, I need to film my review of this. I wanted my review of Happy Easter to go up um, on Easter. So that's when I'm going to put the review of uh, Bath and Body Works. Happy Easter, Daffodil Dreams. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, spoiler, why is this so light? I really like the smell. I love the scent. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that. Video goes up tomorrow. Another video that you will likely see tomorrow is the powdered sugar crepe. Mm, this is from Homeworks. However, um, I'll also spoil this one just a touch. I do think this is just a repackage. It's a delicious repackage, but I do still think it's a repackage. So most of you probably know what it's a repackage of, but we'll discuss it tomorrow. So, um, by the way, that one was sent to me in PR, that particular Homeworks candle. Another Homeworks candle that uh, I recently received in PR was the Raspberry Coconut Cake. Now, this one, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to review this one because I think this is just the Raspberry, was it Coconut Snowball? And I've already reviewed that one. I really think this is a repackage. Um, they say this is coconut cake, fresh raspberry jam, raspberry sugar, and vanilla cream, but it smells so similar to that raspberry coconut snowball. I will say this one is a little light. I, it's not unscented, but it's definitely uh, lighter than I would like it to be. The powdered sugar crepe, that one is performing just fine. Like, average strength and throw um but yeah the the other one mm, i'm not sure if you can find that at the discount stores i would say uh pick that up there i think that's the, your best bet for the raspberry coconut cake raspberry coconut cake man i would mm, i love raspberry coconut cake all right this one here this is one of my beloveds this is the farm stand peach <laughs> um Oh, I love this one. I have so many of these in my collection because I bought multiple of the, what are they? were the trios, the farm stand trios back in the day from uh, QVC where you got the blueberry, the strawberry, and the peach in a beautiful little, little trio of candles. And this one here is, it's a standout for me. And I hope that Homeworks never does away with it. But if you're looking for something similar and you want to try it from Kringle, check out their three wick in the Patanga Peach. So good. Very similar to this. And this one is burning great. It's a good one. All right. Uh, we've got a couple more Kringles here. Okay. I think I can also review this one finally for tomorrow. We're at the halfway point, right? Like we would consider this halfway. <laughs> I've been burning this in the downstairs bathroom. It's been really quite a nice bathroom scent. The Sage and Palo Santo. Um, if you like Palo Santo, uh, you should check this one out. Um, it's really, I think, a great take on that for sure. Is that my lip gloss? Ooh, we have two dogs snoring right now. They are just over here <laughs> doing what I call carcassing, which is... They love to like just lay in the middle of the floor, like where people walk and they just fall asleep. Carcassing. <laughs> All right. Marshmallow morning. Okay, listen, I bought a couple of these because they weren't restocking the sprinkled macarons. And I did a video comparing these two this week. Um, they're very similar. I think most people probably wouldn't think there was much of a difference between the two at all. I think there is definitely some nuance between the two and I think the strength and the throw for me on the reserve candle is stronger but marshmallow morning is quite a similar scent so um, if you want sprinkled macarons but you want to spend less and not get a reserve candle get this um, I've been burning this one this week it's really quite lovely I, I love this scent I mean I loved it when it first came out and I think this actually came out in 2022 um, so, uh, it's been out for a little while. I've been through multiple jars of it. Uh, so I definitely have a thing for it, but the strength and throw is a little bit lighter 
on this one than it is on the reserve um unicorn poop <laughs> I know. this one is this is basically aqualina pink sugar that's what this is but i live for it because i wore that in the um what was it i was gonna say the early 90s no it was in the early 90s uh in the early 2000s there we go um i i wore pink sugar like it was my job <laughs> i would douse myself in it it's a bit much to douse yourself in aqualina pink sugar but i don't know i had fun with it um anyway that is basically the candle version of that perfume so if you'd like to be transported back to your i don't know i was in my early 20s um, if you'd like to be transported back to that time, um, feel free to pick that candle up. It's still available. <laughs> All right, let's talk. Let's talk wax melts. There's not a ton in here, you guys. I've been really lazy with my Scentsy warmers. I don't know why. Um, I think for just like a hot minute there, I was kind of getting tired of like cleaning the wax or changing the wax. So I've just been using a couple of warmers here and there. I have candles going all the time, so I don't even necessarily like need Scentsy in addition. I just like it in addition to all of my candles because I can, I don't know, you can really kind of customize the fragrance. Like I love pairing different bars with different candles. Um, I should do some videos about some of my favorite like combinations. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know. But anyway. Um, I did use some Scentsy this week, so let's talk about it. Um, this was not a full bar when I started, but I did finish the Shamrock Splash. I've been really enjoying this one in the bathrooms. The one place, uh, or the, I guess the few rooms around the house where I do usually have the Scentsy going no matter what every single day is my bathrooms. So um, I just have those smaller like wall plug-in warmers where you just like plug it directly into the outlet. Those just take like one cube, and so they're easy enough to clean out like i just stick a little tissue in there and it just soaks everything up but anyway this was a nice green fresh scent um it's actually a little bit sweet in its presentation but i liked it um it's not something that i would consider club worthy but i got a really good performance out of this in terms of that it usually lasted easily three days and um it had a good strength overall to it so yeah i like that this is one of my favorites. I actually have this going in the upstairs hallway right now. I just adore this one. This is Wildflower Cotton. I really wish I would have put this in my club. I don't I don't think it's available right now. This was a leftover from last year. It definitely has like a cotton vibe to it. But there's also a like almost I would consider this like a warm cashmere sandalwoody type of vibe some vanilla as well but it's just really good i love this one mm, it's so good luckily i have um i have this many left that's all that i have left and i don't think i have a backup bar maybe lisa has something i can buy off of her she'll probably be like absolutely not i told you so you should have put it in your club that's what lisa says to me lisa is you guys know who lisa is lisa roberry she is my bestie she is who got me into scentsy i don't sell scentsy she does i buy all of it from her and sometimes i ask her questions like hey do you have any of this that you're willing to part with i'll pay value <laughs> and she normally says no i told you so <laughs> almond croissant i went through an almond croissant i do well i have one little cube left but I, um, I do have my club coming in April. I might be upping my club during, ironically, the summer when I shouldn't be having more shipments from Scentsy, but the, I live in Oregon and Scentsy ships from Idaho. So usually I get my Scentsy packages really fast. So by the time that my Scentsy gets to my house um, here in Portland, um, usually the ice pack is still somewhat frozen that they put in during the summer months so i never have any issues with like melted bars or anything like that so but i'm thinking about upping my club deliveries during june july and august to increase the amount of my almond croissant that i can have on hand for this fall because i love this one during the fall and holiday time the most but i also enjoy it year round really wish sensi would just bring this one back i You've heard me talk about almond croissant for many, many moons. I just can't get enough of it. Another one that's in my club that I just absolutely adore is my beloved happy birthday. I have seven bars of this in my club. It is so good. I smell Funfetti birthday cake mix, um, 
like you know from the grocery store <laughs> um but some people smell chocolate marble cake which always kind of intrigues me i don't get marble cake i get funfetti birthday cake and it smells delicious and i love it um okay these two here well here three we've got um lemon drizzle cake uh lemon drizzle cake is uh delicious on its own but i actually like to pair uh, a a one cube of each if you will of the happy birthday and the lemon drizzle cake that's a fabulous combination that's going in my entryway right now it's so good and then these two toasted uh coconut amaretto now i did this one earlier this week while it was still kind of cooler and raining out the weather's getting a little bit nicer for the next few days and this one smelled i get a lot of um amaretto from this this smells very similar to Di Sirono to me. Does anybody else feel that way? I get Di Sirono, almost a slight boozy note as well. And then also just additional almond extract. And what's interesting about that is that this is toasted coconut amaretto. I was hoping I would get some like toasted coconut out of this. I'm not, I'm just smelling essentially the amaretto, the Di Sirono and that like almond extract note, no coconut. I would love this I, a lot more, I think, if it had some coconut in it. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't think I would repurchase it overall, but I do think it, this is quite lovely. I think a cube of this with something like Happy Birthday actually I think would have been delicious. Maybe I do have to buy some more of this. Anyway, it doesn't matter right now. I'm not buying any more right now. <laughs> Next time I place an order, which probably be somewhat soon anyway that's it that's all that i have for you guys thank you so much for being here i lost both dogs at some point you probably saw them walking off but we appreciate you being here let me know what you were uh melting burning whatever this week and uh yeah let me know if there are any recommendations for again new scents that uh i need to pick up at uh bath and body works potentially so yeah let me know down below and i'll see you in the next one take care Toodaloo.